Hello gamers, my name is Duma and welcome to the game room. Two of the things you have been asking for is builds using class sets from the Infinite Archive and also solo builds for content outside of the Archive. We're combining both of those today into a banger little pocket rocket of a one bar build for you. If you're new to the channel, anything that says Immortal on it means it's one bar, can easily solo veteran Vatishran and Maelstrom with no deaths or sigils, and has the capability to easily solo certain 12 man trial bosses as you see here, but not just solo them, but solo them within a certain time frame, about 10 minutes or so, so not taken all day. Also, speaking of damage in solo builds, one of the things you should want to know on any build advertising as a good solo build is can it easily kill the tether ads on the final boss of veteran Vatishran, as that is one of the higher DPS checks in solo content? Well, that answer is yes, 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 and yes. This one is ridiculous. Some builds accommodate good play and some builds have the ability to help carry those who need a little help. This is one of the latter. This build will carry you through content for sure. You just have to push the buttons as you've heard me say so many times on stream. I'm gonna run through this build quick, but the written guide is up for you over at thegameroom.tv along with tons of other ESO builds and guides. Details and video description. All right, let's take a look. You can play this build as legitimately any race. Magical oriented is better. Khajiit like I am here is totally fine as well. We have all 64 points in Magicka and we're using the Lover Mundus. Consumables are very straightforward, Wish Mothers and Tripods. You don't need to spend a lot of cash on food here. If you have deep pockets and it's not an issue, then Clockwork Citrus Filet. For our gear, check this out. I did this on stream last week on purpose. We picked the most scuffed setup we could out of what I had in the bags. To kind of simulate that player who's like, I don't have a ton of time in my life to grind and perfect every build I'm playing. Maybe you just want to throw on some janky gear and collect some purple pixels from bosses. Well, this is that build. This is the the exact setup that I used to clear all the clips you've seen so far, including the trial boss. It really doesn't matter y'all, for real, anything works, don't stress over this. I have a hot mess express here where four of my armor traits are contributing to zero damage. It's not a big deal, I promise. Ideally, yeah, you want to min max it, but if you can't, it's not going to hold you back. Soul Cleaver is the class set that we're using here. Somehow, some way, you need to get five light pieces on the body. It doesn't matter where, but five light is necessary. The other two weights honestly don't matter much either. You can go 7 light, 5 one, 1 for max undaunted passives, 5 2 like I have here. Don't stress on it. It's also not that big of a deal for this. Hexos is the other set that is going to be one body piece, two jewelry, and one lightning staff. If you want to min max it, then you want all divine traits on the armor with maximum magic enchants, arcane traits on the jewelry, infused is fine if your Oaken Soul is already set up that way, and all spell damage glyphs on the jewelry with a precise staff and the flame enchant. We cap all that off with a one piece slime crawl. If you don't have access to the archive or just don't want to do it, then you can replace Soul Cleaver with War Maiden if you like, or a comparable experience. The reason being is War Maiden will juice your magic damage abilities, and our main heal is based off a percentage of that damage. CP is very straightforward. In the blue tree, we have Focus Mending, Wrathful Strikes, Deadly Aim, and Master at Arms. And the red tree, Boundless Vitality, Fortified, Rejuvenation, and then either Siphoning Spells for more sustain or Bastion for more shielding. For our abilities, we have a Flex Spot, which we'll come back to, Dampen Magic. This is a huge shield that's spammable and also the reason we're wearing five light armor pieces. This is literally a get out of jail free card. In trouble, just spam it and you're fine. If you have Magicka, your heals are rolling and you don't get one shot and you're spamming this, you legitimately should not be able to die in solo content that is meant to be soloed. I know some of you right now are like, oh yeah, challenge accepted. For real though, it's solid. Try it out if you haven't. Your main spammable swallows soul. Very simple, deals damage, heals you, and both the damage and healing are strengthened by our Soul Cleaver set. Entropy, if you're familiar with how I use it on my archive builds, exactly the same here. Just throw it out everywhere and heals will be pouring in. Here is the final stage of Veteran Vatishan and towards the end of the fight where things get really spicy. See how these heals just shut down the whole operation? I'm not even doing anything here. It's a game changer for sure. Merciless Resolve, super hard hitting ability that heals you if you are in melee range. How it works is it builds stacks as you lighten heavy attack and at five stacks, you simply press the button and use the proc. Our ultimate, Soul Tether, same idea as Swallow Soul, but now AoE. Damage, healing, both strengthened by Soul Cleaver. For the flex spot, I want to offer three options for you. I suggest Twisting Path. It squares away a bit of the build's weakness with AoE damage and gives you access to Major Expedition, which is just very nice to have in pretty much all forms of combat. If you want the damage, but also don't want to have to keep pressing the button and recasting the ability as fights shift around, then Dark Shade is a great option, which summons a little spooky buddy to do damage and reduce the damage of enemies by 5%. If you want one less button to press or for easier stuff, you can 
pop in inner light here for passive damage increase and be good to go. At the beginning, I said the build will carry you if you press buttons. Now you can see every button but one is also healing or shielding you, or both with Hexosprocs. That's what I mean by if you just press the buttons, the build will take care of the rest. You don't have to fully know what's going on yet to play this build. It's got safety nets tied all around it to help make the game a little easier for you so you can enjoy it if that's something you want or need. Boom, and it's that easy, gamers. I'll leave you with a little montage so you can see the build in action. Do me a solid and hit that sub button for me if you enjoyed the content or learned something today. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.